all right guys what's going on guys it's your boy creator me guys on a borderlands 3 video in this video we're going to be going over the guarantee la yuda quest line real quick you are going to want to make sure that you have already beaten the campaign before you even start this quest if you have not beaten the game yet you cannot do it so if you haven't killed Tyreen's ass yet, do not even try to do this quest line yet because it won't be even activated for you. But if you have beaten the game, let's get forward. So in order to do this quest, you're going to want to kill 10 enemies for zero. Which two are you doing the quest line for? The first step you're going to want to do is head to Pandora and the Devil's Razor. Head to your left and you're going to want to fight and get rid of Hot Carl. All right, next up, we're going to be staying our happy asses on Pandora, and we're going to want to fast travel to the Splinterlands and kill DJ Dead Skag. His cave is located, this cave is located where we first meet Pain and Terror, so you're just gonna go ahead and kill him. Now we're going to be heading off to space and landing in the Meridian Metroplex of Vermithia and we're going to be killing the boy Barrow Noggin. After that, we're going to be wanting to get rid of Crustraw. His spot is being located in the hole right before Troy's boss arena in Cathedral of the Twin Gods, also located on Pandora. Alright, going back to Promethea, our next target is going to be Handsome Jackie. Uh, now, I'm not going to lie, this bitch is a little bit hard to find thanks to Borderlands 3 weird map layout. Thank you, Gearbox.
now we're gonna go ahead and fast travel to Electra City, still staying on Promethea. We are gonna be taking care of the Judge Tower and his little pesky ass crew. But you're gonna wanna make sure that you kill everyone and everything to complete this hunt. Now we're going to be heading off to the Anvil on Eden 6 and we're going to be blasting the Sky Bullies out of the sky. Uh, not going to lie, I had a bit of a hard time just getting to this spot. There's just so many anointed enemies. Luckily once you do get here, they aren't that hard to kill. The hardest part is honestly just getting them out of the sky. And once they're on the ground, you can just easily kill them. Now we're going to be heading to the Jacob's Estate, staying on Eden 6 of course. We're going to be heading to kill off Heckle and Hyde. Next up, we're going to be heading to the best farming spot in the game, my personal opinion. We're going to be killing off the Psycho Baileys. If you've done this uh, farm many a times, you don't have to do it, obviously, again, because you already completed the, the crew hunt and everything. However, if you haven't, just go to the Rogue's Hollow in Eden 6 and just follow the path I take. And last but not least, we're going to be heading to the shithole that is Necrotefeo and eliminating Celestro and Atomic. Now, once you finally kill them and kill every everyone on this list that we just went through the video, you'll be mailed from zero the 
Borderlands Special Sniper Rifle, the Lyuda. Now this gun is one of the best goddamn guns in the game. Consider yourself lucky that you have it. Order does not matter when you do this. I just wanted to say that, just in case any y'all have get confused. You can do this in any order you want. It doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy your sniper rifle. With all my other guys, my name is Creek. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Oh